Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we're going to take a look at which is the best inline hook. Why don't we get started to find out? And today we're going to take a look at these inline hooks, and we're going to discuss the differences and take a look at which one I think is the best. But first, if you're new to my channel and you like things like this, then please go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is an inline hook? I'm brand new to crochet. I have no clue what you're talking about. What is there more than one type of hook? I don't get this. And just to let you know, there are a few different types, or there's only two major types of hooks in themselves. Now there's lots of different brands and the handles are often very different, but as far as the way that the hook works, there's only two different kinds. And there's inline and tapered. And I will take a look at we'll take a look at tapered on a different date. But for now, we're gonna take a look at inline. So what is inline? When a hook is called inline, what that means is that up here at the top, the hook itself, which is right here, is the same size as the shaft, as it's going up into the hook. Whenever you see a tapered, you'll find that this part starts to narrow, especially here, it starts to narrow before it becomes the hook, and the hook is um, a different width from this as it narrows. So that is the main difference between an inline and a tapered hook. So if we take a look at these hooks, you'll find this one's going to be your most expensive inline hook. Um, this one is a little bit somewhere, it's just a smidge over the cost of, actually, <laughs> if I were to get this one without the ergonomic piece here, then this would be a little bit cheaper than this one. But because I got this one with the ergonomic piece here, um, it is a little bit more expensive than this one. Now, uh, I got a set of these for a roughly, I'd say right around $5. And these are made by Lion Brand. These are bamboo hooks. I got this by itself for right around $2, maybe just under $2. And then this one here, it's gonna run you between $20 and $30. I think last I saw they were running about $32, but you can generally wait and then find a sale with furls. This is a furls hook. Okay, so um, first thing, first one I'm gonna talk about is this one, since this is the lowest end. This is just a straight hook. It's got a little bit of an indentation right here where you may naturally hold your hook either as a knife or as a pencil grip, which I don't do a pencil grip, so I may be holding this wrong, but as a pencil grip or as a knife grip, which I am a knife grip. Okay, so, and otherwise, the, the, rest, of the, um, the rest of the hook is the same width as you go down the length of the hook. Uh, it is not too sharp at the point here. Sometimes you'll find, um, especially with Susan Bates, which we will look at that one next, this can feel a little sharp, and here it's nice and smooth and rounded. Um, I will tell you, I started to use this hook, and I stopped. I tried to file this part down. I'll insert a picture here of the project I started using on it. Was a, it was a scarf, and I used it with a roving yarn, and... Um, it kept catching right here on the wood grain. Okay, so I, I tried to use a nail file to kind of sand it down a little bit. I believe, um, I have been told by others in the past that you may be able to take care of that with added, by using wax paper, I believe it was, um, and putting wax on this. But honestly, when I purchase a hook, I want it to work right for me, right out the gate. So I did not use this hook. I, I stopped using it. I did not finish a project with it. I barely even started a project with it. I was very unhappy with this particular hook. Um, now, I will tell you the good thing about this and probably the reason why people um, do go to the trouble to get the wax on it and get that smoothed out so that you don't have that catching like I experienced is this is a very light hook. And for those that um, 
will sit and have just a very long, uh, very long crochet session. That's very nice to have a light hook. So this is probably the lightest of the three hooks that I'm looking at, but I did not get much experience in using it because of the catching and I was not a fan. So, but these can be found at Walmart and I'll link down below to the set that that is the Lion brand and this is a five and a half millimeter and this is one of their bamboo hooks. Um, the only thing I would suggest is finding a way for this part right here to not catch your yarn and I was, I just was not happy with that at all. Next up we're going to take a look at the Susan Bates hook. So this is a Susan Bates ergonomic hook. Now you can buy a set of regular Susan Bates hooks without the ergonomic piece here. You can buy a set of these for, I'd say a, a set of your basic sizes. Um, that work with like worsted to DK weight to um, a chunky weight or a five weight yarn. Um, you can buy a set of those for uh, right around $6 at Walmart. And um, they are definitely good hooks. The, the, the top of this is okay. It is a little pointy, um, but I didn't experience too many problems with it. Um, this one I used here was the five millimeter. I did also get, and that, that's another thing I like about these aluminum hooks is they are different colors so they're easy to know which size is which, but this is the five and a half millimeter. Okay, and um, I also got the ergonomic uh, handle in this. I'm going to say one thing about the ergonomic handles. Don't spend the extra money on it. <laughs> it's nice that they're a little rubbery, but they're still kind of firm, so they're not a soft rubber. And uh, honestly, they don't add much to the holding. So if you're new to crochet, I would really highly suggest don't waste the money on the ergonomic handles. If you do find that you prefer the inline hooks, just get the regular Susan Bate inline hooks. And if you're going to spend a little bit more money on uh, on a hook, we'll talk about that in just a minute. <laughs> Now as far as using this, I did use this to make this particular one to make a baby dress. I did use the roving weight yarn. What I was going to use, the same yarn, the roving yarn, the same yarn that I was going to make that scarf with. I ended up moving to a different hook entirely. Um, and, uh, and I had no problems with it. It was nice. Uh, it, it really worked through the material really well. It was nice and smooth. I know there's a little white mark there, but that doesn't, that's not a catch. And I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a little bit of a texture difference there, but it didn't, it didn't affect my, um, and I believe that's just where the coloring has come off of it. So just check your hooks whenever you purchase them, make sure that they have the full color on it. Um, I did not experience any catching or any problems with that little piece right there. And I, I was able to get through the project easily. I had absolutely no problems. And uh, it, was, it was a really nice hook. I really did uh, enjoy this hook. Again, this is a nice lightweight hook. It's not as light as the bamboo. And honestly, I, I haven't measured these. You know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to measure these towards the end of the video. So you stay tuned to that. A measure, I mean weigh. I'm going to weigh these towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that so you can see the difference in the weight. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's a very light hook, very easy to use. Um, for the, It's got this little indentation right here for you know either the knife grip, and actually the knife grip is more like this, okay, or even the pen pencil grip. Okay, so this works out really well either way. And I think it's a nice, nice, uh, very, very good beginner hook. Again, um, you know, if you're new, don't waste your money. This spending a little bit of extra money on the ergonomic hooks. I just feel like they, it, it really doesn't lend itself to being truly ergonomic. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's a great hook. I really would suggest using a, a Susan Bay hooks. I don't think you can go wrong with it. As far as purchasing, if you do want to get the ergonomic hooks and you don't want to get a set, or just a single hook. Um, I found this at, I believe it was Michael's I found this. They also sell them at Joann's, but they had, um, they had like, um, you know when you go to an office store and you see a bunch of pens and they're in these individual, the individual sections kind of standing up like this? They had something like that with the Susan Bate hooks. And that's where I found this hook. Now onto the Furls hook. Okay, so this is the Furls Streamline Swirl. 
I'm gonna let you take a look. Now this, this particular box, this is the box that I keep this one in. And yes, I do keep the box um, because I don't have a fancy case to put this in. But this is the Furls Streamline Swirl. And they have a, a bunch of different types of swirls. Um, swirl uh, Streamline, um, Swirl Resin hooks that you can purchase from. And all these hooks will be linked down below. So you can find this series of hooks on the furlscrochet.com uh, furls website. And um, you go under the menu hooks and needles. And these are the streamline resin hooks. And there's a few different types. Now this particular hook, the color is called a Taurus. Um, the only thing that I found interesting is uh, this looked a little bit different than I was expecting because of all of the blue that's in this and um, the visual that they're showing on the website does not have this much blue but this is indeed the furls Taurus. I was kind of hoping it was a little bit more purple but that is just the way that it rolls it's a beautiful beautiful resin hook and honestly um, I can't I can't say enough uh, about how pretty this hook is okay so pretty is a one thing but how does this work and is it worth the $24 that this particular hooks co hook costs? I mean, the other two hooks, I was telling you, would be like $5 for a set or, you know, 5 to $6 for a set or uh, 1 to 2 for a single. So, um, yeah, this is $24 for the single hook. I would not suggest this for a beginner. I, you know, if you're not sure that crochet is going to be your thing, I would highly recommend if you're, you find that you're partial to the inline hooks to go with the season bait that I already... All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You're getting a little bit too shaky and noisy here. However, if you become more and more into crochet and you know that that is the hobby that is just going to be your thing and it is the hobby that you want to truly invest in, then I this is a great hook. Now, it is a little bit heavier than the other hooks because you see that it is a little bit bigger okay and this particular one that I'm showing you is a five and a half millimeter similar to the first one that I showed you the wooden one um, so it is a little bit heavier than the other two and like I said we'll weigh all three of them at the end so you can see the differences in the weights a little bit heavier but not significant enough because this is resin this is a fairly light hook it is great for use with the nice grip now Here's something about the furls hook that I do like. It's not short, so it's a, it's a little bit longer than your average hook. Okay, and I'm gonna show these side by side so you can see the difference in length. Okay, so you see there's a little bit, okay, now it's hard to show because, hang on. So I'm gonna line these up here and you can see there's a little bit extra length on this. Now, if you're one of those people that when you're using a hook, you find that it starts poking right here, and it, it's just, it keeps poking right here, then the length of these hooks are gonna be something that you're gonna really, really like. But the middle section of this makes for a very nice ergonomic grip, especially for the knife holder. Um, and, and like I said, this, that, when I say knife holder, that is the way that you hold your hook. There are two general ways of holding your hook, but honestly, any way that you hold your hook is the right way. So there is no wrong way to hold your hook by any stretch of the imagination, but the most common ways are going to be your knife hold, like this. Really, you just, this is how you usually hook. And, and I'm usually a little bit choked up a little bit further on the hook, like that. Or like this where you just you hold it like this like you would hold a pencil okay so that's the pencil grip versus the knife grip um, so and and fortunately I have my friend Ginger I'll link her channel up above who is a knife grip like myself and then I have my friend Julie who I'll also link up above who is a pencil grip I feel like on this particular hook and I'd have to verify that with Julie but the way that it's a little bit heavier on this end it would feel a little bit 
off for somebody with a pencil grip but since I don't have experience with that I would love for you if you are a pencil grip tell me down below how working with a furls hook if you have that experience how that feels for you but with the knife grip this is definitely a very very comfortable comfortable hook so um, as far as the original question which inline hook is the best I feel like for me don't bother with these I don't like them can't stand them would never buy it again <laughs> um, for these two here right here if you are new to crochet go with the Susan Bates this is a nice hook it's a nice smooth glide um, it's 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 nice to hold for either the uh, pencil or the um, the pencil or the knife grip and it feels in my hand a little bit lighter than this one um, so if those are things that are all very important to you then I definitely go with the Susan Bates hook and uh, and again if you're newer to crochet and you're not real sure that this is a hobby that you want to truly invest in stick with the Susan Bates hook because they are a little they are quite a bit cheaper than your furl hook. Now, once you've decided that crochet is your thing and you really do enjoy uh, the inline hooks, then go with the furl hook. It is worth the investment, in my opinion. Okay, so that's the way I feel about those. So next up, let's see how much these three. So my scale is doing something weird. I think it's time for me to get a new one. But for now, just know it's on grams right now. It has four grams already on there. So when we put the hooks on, it just Take away four grams and you'll understand that you'll know the weight of the hook, okay? Um, so let's start with the wooden hook. All right, so the wooden hook went from four grams to six grams, making it two grams. Um, so that is the weight of the wooden hook, two grams. Next up is the Susan Bates ergonomic hook. And that hook went from 4 grams to 14 grams. So the ergonomic hook is 10 grams total. And finally, we're going to do the furls hook, the resin hook. Hopefully it won't roll too much. It's gonna roll for me. <laughs> okay, so that went from four grams to 24 grams. So you're looking at 20 grams difference. Um, so yeah, there is a significant difference between these two. So you, it looks like you add about, so that's two grams, 10 grams, and 20 grams for the three different hooks as far as weight goes. Now, you might be wondering, okay, this is in grams. This really isn't that much. I don't understand uh, why it's so important to talk about the weight. As you crochet more and more, um, you will find that on long projects, as you're working on them, the weight of your hook becomes more and more important. Um, so it's, it's nice to get a light hook that glides smoothly or even sometimes doesn't glide as smoothly so that you don't have too much um, you, know, you have a little bit of kind of tension in between when you're moving the hook or moving the yarn back and forth on your hook um, but the weight does become more and more important especially on the longer projects so that's the difference between these three hooks as um, as you probably have guessed this this the furls hook is my favorite I do prefer, if I'm reaching for an inline hook, I do prefer to reach for the furls. Um, I will never buy the bamboo hooks again. And this is a nice stand-in and something that on, in a travel case or something like that, the Susan Bates I think would be best. These stay at home, this travels with me. Unless of course I'm in the middle of the project. And if you guys don't know yet, you should know never switch your hook in a project because not all hooks are created equal even within the same brand you want to stick with the same hook on your project once you get started with it um, and if you need me to make a video about that then go ahead and let me know down below I'll be happy to explain that to you 
So that is it for today's video. If you like this kind of content and you, you feel like you need to see more of it, then go ahead and go down below. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. If you guys have any questions about these hooks or you want me to focus on something else in my next video, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. You guys have an amazing day. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye. Go away, buddy. Stop. Stop. Hi, sweetie. I know. You just want to take a look. See? He's right here. He's right here. He's getting all up in my business. Hey, little man. Hi. Yep, see? Look at that. Can I work now? Can I? Can I make a video? Is that okay with you? No? 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 You want to stretch a little bit? Be real cute? Can I make a video now? Please? Stop! Stop! You're getting all in my way! You're moving my computer! You need to stop! You're so cute! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You need to stop. You need to stop. Bro, can you come get this kitty? You need to stop. Yes, you do. You need to stop, my little boy. My little boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're so cute. Okay. Can I finish? Can I finish? You're going to make wonderful footage, but unfortunately, I do need to finish what I intended to do, okay? Mwah.